Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Priscilla. And I'm Dr. Andy. And, and we're, we're both optometrists. optometrists. You haven't seen me before, but I've definitely been around. Previously, I've been behind the scenes, working on lighting. Totally legit, yeah. Handling the camera. And editing videos. But I'm also here now, so Priscilla doesn't have to look at my face all the time when she's talking. But I digress. So during this epidemic, we're all getting used to this new normal. We're staying at home more, spending more time on screens, and most importantly, wearing face masks. And because more people are wearing masks for extended periods of time, it has been noted that there has been an increased number of patient complaints of dry eye symptoms among regular mask wearers. These symptoms can involve dry, watery, itchy, stingy, sore, gritty eyes that can also be red, sensitive to light, or cause you to have vision that may change with each blink or fluctuate throughout the day. A Canadian researcher by the name of Professor Lyndon Jones at the Centre for Ocular Research and Education, short for CORE, a great acronym, has intelligently coined his own equally great acronym, dubbing this new phenomenon Mask Associated Dry Eyes, or MADE for short. I can just imagine Jones chuckling to himself about how smart and how witty he is for coming up with such a name. Since this is a newly reported phenomenon, there hasn't been too much extensive research on this yet, but there are a few working theories on what causes this. Apart from the dry eye symptoms, the other concern with MADE is that, due to the irritated eyes, people are more likely to rub their eyes for relief, potentially bringing their unclean hands to their face area, increasing the likelihood of coronavirus transmission through the mouth, nose, or eyes. With this in mind though, transmission of coronavirus through the eyes is quite low, lower than the mouth or nose. So what causes MADE then? Well, there are a few potential causes. The first suspected cause of MAID is due to an improperly fitting mask, which can allow for a gap to form between the face and the mask. Gaps created around the cheek area can allow air to escape and funnel through towards the eye when you breathe out, causing an air current over the surface of your eyes. This can cause your tear film to evaporate faster over time and can leave your eyes irritated and dry. However, people with properly fitted masks have also reported dry eyes. So what's the deal with that? Well, for this situation, this may be due to the use of tape over the mask to get that better seal. The tape adhering the mask onto the face can actually lower the lower eyelids down, impacting on the normal movement of the lower eyelids, which is important for a complete blink. Because the act of blinking lubricates the surface of the eyes with your tears, when you have restricted lid movement, you can end up getting something called an incomplete blink, which is literally what it says it is. And this leaves certain areas of your eyes dry due to the lack of tear distribution. So be careful where you're putting the mask to make sure it doesn't pull your eyelids down. Sometimes it may be difficult to figure out where the cause of your dry eye symptoms are. Is it really the mask? Is it more screen time? Or can it be something else entirely different? If you feel like you're experiencing MADE, you should ask yourself these questions. Firstly, are you wearing your face mask more often and for extended periods of time? Are your symptoms worse on days where you're wearing your mask? Are you using tape with the mask and is that causing discomfort when you blink? If you're answering yes to any of these, then it can possibly be made. In saying this, we are not saying not to wear your mask. Make sure you wear your mask because masks are the best way to keep yourselves and others safe from COVID-19. If you are experiencing MADE, you don't need to suffer. And there are things you can do to reduce or alleviate the symptoms. Firstly, make sure you wear a well-fitted mask that won't have any air leakage through the top of the mask. This may also mean you won't need to use tape to stick the mask down. And there are masks with pliable nose wiring that you can mold it to fit your face shape. And also there are masks with adjustable ear loops to get a tighter fit to reduce air leakage. Second, if you do need to use tape, make sure you carefully tape it so it doesn't interfere with your blinking. Tape it closer to the cheeks and away from the eyelids. If you do experience symptoms of MADE, you can use lubricating eye drops to re-moisturize the surface. You can ask your optometrist what they recommend. As we have said in previous videos, some of our picks are Sustain Complete or Hylofort. And fourth tip, you can also wear sealed goggles with your mask. This keeps the moisture of your eyes in and protects your eyes from the airflow. Number five, if you can, take breaks from masks if possible, and also take regular breaks from your devices as well. Lastly, limit time in air conditioned environments when you can, because the air conditioner will cause more tear evaporation. We hope you found this video interesting and learned something new about wearing masks. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay safe. Social distance. Wash your hands. And we'll catch you in the next video. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Priscilla. And I'm Dr. Andy. And, and we're, we're both, both autonomous. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>
Uh, that's terrible.